The next generation of material scientists and engineers have a whole host of challenges to address. Emerging issues in climate management and in transportation, biomedicine and health, advances in material science and engineering could have an enormous impact. As we look towards a bright and a more sustainable future, it is really important that we're training material scientists and engineers, embedding the principles of sustainability, caring for our planet and caring for our people. The School of Material Science and Engineering at UNSW Sydney it was founded in 1952. It's one of the oldest schools of material science and engineering in Australia. The school is located very close to downtown Sydney. It's also very close to the beautiful Sydney Harbour and some wonderful beaches. The aims of the school are to carry out world-class teaching programs at both undergraduate and postgraduate levels, as well as cutting-edge research in all sorts of disciplines in material science and engineering. Due to the rapid growth in both our teaching research outputs, in 2019 we created a new structure for the school in both teaching and research. It's framed around societal themes, transport and infrastructure, biomedical and health, electronics and communications, energy and the environment. Those cover all of our teaching research and all our research groups. In the School of Material Science and Engineering, I'm the theme lead of the Biomedical and Health theme. And this involves researchers spanning drug delivery materials, implants, and cell and tissue engineering. My lab is interested in studying how nature builds materials so that we can learn the design principles to accomplish all of the complex tasks that nature has solved around us. These so-called bio-inspired or biomimetic materials that we make in the lab have a whole range of potential applications. These could range from cell-derived materials for medicine to uh, little mini tissues that we can use for drug screening to develop new therapeutics on a patient's own cells. And ultimately, the holy grail is the potential to generate an entire functional organ. In this way, we may be able to solve a whole host of problems like organ shortages and be able to aid clinical medicine and speed up procedures. The ultimate aim is helping people. The work that we're doing at the Smart Center is really gonna develop new scientific and technological solutions to dealing with some of the world's most problematic waste materials, converting them into value added products. We can make green steel in an electric arc furnace by our polymer injection technology that's recycling waste rubber tires. We're also looking at how we might be able to take waste coffee to bring on the future generation of green steel into realities because we can show to the world that not only can we recycle waste, but we can also manufacture high quality materials and products. It is a win-win outcome for our environment and for our people. As well as research, education and training are also really important parts of what we do here in the School of Material Science and Engineering at UNSW Sydney. We teach undergraduate students in both Bachelor of Science and Bachelor of Engineering programs, and we have a coursework master's program. We also train students in research through postgraduate programs at both master's and PhD levels. Most of the researchers in the school are also involved in education and training. And we're all really passionate about sharing our knowledge and experience with students who are just starting out in their careers. We try to make sure that we're giving them the skills that they will need to be able to make their own contributions to the materials field and to society in general. This means that we focus on developing both their fundamental knowledge, but alongside that also their awareness of how that knowledge is being applied in current research and in a variety of industries. I've really benefited from the School of Material Science and Engineering at UNSW. I did a five-year undergraduate degree and then continued doing four years of PhD with the school. So it's become a second home to me. My PhD project was partly sponsored by the industry. So while I did academic research at the university, I also got the chance to network with industry leaders and get a broader understanding of why my research was relevant to the wider society. My academic background and the transferable skills I developed has landed me the job I have today. I manage research projects by liaising between the Australian Defence, industries and universities. The friendly atmosphere and supportive environment the school provides really makes it a really good place for students to study and researchers to work in. UNSW's School of Material Science and Engineering is a top program globally. It's the best material science and engineering school in Australia. 
and it's really just a wonderful place to, to pave the way to solving a lot of these global challenges. Not only do we get to work in these incredibly fantastic labs, but we get to collaborate and work with some incredibly bright scientists and engineers, industry partners. Come and make your dreams real right here at UNSW Sydney.